All right, so this is my last message. I will never stop preaching the Word of God, ever. Because that is my calling in life. That is the will of my God. To preach to the broken man. What are you so afraid of? Am I hurting you? Am I talking to you? Am I striking true as in 1 Kings 22? With the arrow of God that strikes to the heart. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. For the Word of God cannot be discounted, nor can it be disputed. Whether you want to preach science or biology, God can prove it all. For He is the author and creator of all. Nothing happens without God Himself. And through the power of His Word, He reigns on the just and the unjust. That is His Word. You can try to disprove it all you want. But at the end of the day, whenever I leave this earth, I know where I'm going. Can you say the same? For the love of God surpasses all understanding. For I choose Him and not you in this, in this world. More God, I want my life because He reigns true. Preach I must to the broken and to the few. Not everybody will understand the words that come out of my lips. But those that have ears will hear and receive Christ Himself. I'm trying to rhyme. I'm trying to be poetic. It's not my nature. Trust me, it's not. But I wrestle not with flesh and blood. I fight with the Word of God. The Spirit of God is the Word of God. For I have on the helmet of salvation the breastplate of righteousness. My loins are girthed with the truth and my feet are shod with the preparation of the peace of the gospel and I have the shield of faith. Whether you believe that or not, I will not change your mind. For it is not my power or by my might or by my will that can do such a thing. Only through the power and the revelation through the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ will you come to know the same joy that I know day in and day out. For my God saved me. It is up to you whether you allow Him to save you. So get offended if you want. That is your prerogative and your choice because God gave you free will. You have bitten the apple of forbidden fruit and your eyes are opened for you see yourself naked now. Because up until that point Adam and Eve did not know that they were naked. But the serpent who deceived Eve first and got her to convince Adam to eat the apple, which he should not. He chose to listen to his wife and not to the voice of God. For the remission of sin is true in this world each day and night. I rhyme it continuously and I choose not to, but through the power of the Holy Spirit, I speak to those that will listen. Those that have ears to hear and eyes of understanding. I speak not to you, Tegan, for you have a hard heart. Like Pharaoh in Egypt with the children of Israel. And we know that outcome. So, be blessed, my brother. 
of another mother. Throw that in as a joke. Get mad not at me. For I speak the truth, whether you believe. For God reigns true, and his word has lasted the test of time. For you can't argue off of its merits, because without the law, there would be no law. Make no mistake. You would go on and do as the days of Noah, every man to his own heart. You would not be governed, you would be lawless, and you'd be lost. Be blessed by the words that are coming out of my mouth and through the anointing of the Holy Spirit. God himself will judge in the last days. And you shall be held accountable for your words and your actions on this earth this day. And every day that follows until that judgment comes. It is your discretion whether you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You can answer the call, or you can answer not. But whatever you choose is your decision. But beware. God will make life miserable. Time and time again, the children of Israel paid a price because they chose to worship other gods and not the true God, which was called. They were spoken into existence by the God of heaven himself. Through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we now have the children of Israel. And through the blood of Jesus Christ, the Gentiles were accepted. For Jesus himself talked about this. How can you not see the word of God is true and reigns forevermore, so it shall be.